Hello, it's Lori with Giggle Girl Arts. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm finally sharing my day five of the five days of fall. I know I'm way behind in doing my videos. Got a few things going on, but I'm feeling better. And I uh, just wanted to um, get this up there and get this part done. So before I get started, I want to say thank you for those who liked and subscribed on any of my videos and left a comment. And I have a few shout outs uh, for comments on my last video. So first I'd like to say thank you to Kara Brandon Creations. What Jen Wren Scraps Erlene Amaro and my very best friend in the entire world, Monica. So thanks again. Sorry, Monica, didn't get a chance to paint my fingernails. Oh. And uh, I'll try to do that by the next video. All right, so here is what day five looked like originally. And here is what I came up with. I did another page ensemble and I did some stamping around the edges. I added some lace. I used one of Julie's um, pieces of ephemera for a pocket and I added some of uh, Kara's ephemera and I have a little uh, strip down here of some coffee dyed paper. And inside, I have one of Kara's tags with a pocket with a tiny little piece of the ephemera on one of Julie's stamps. And then I backed it on scrapbook paper from day one. And then some more ephemera up here. I didn't end up using all of the little uh, fall slash autumn words for today. I ended up putting some of them on previous day projects. And when I finish the journal, I'll, you'll be able to see those. <clears throat> All right. So, um, in addition to the page ensemble, I did a little notebook with Kara's page one of Julie's pieces of ephemera, and it's just, you know, a cover. It's not a pocket or anything. And I decorated it with some more ephemera, some washi and stickles. I love stickles. Inside for the first page, I have, um, I think this is from another page in the extra kit of Dear Julie Julie's. And then I just added some coffee dyed and tea dyed notebook papers. I added in um, this little piece that was left from Kara's sheet. I have some coffee dyed paper where I was able to get the patterns from some placemats. And yeah, that is that. Here's the back. I think this was a sheet with four postcards on it. And inside, I made a pocket here. Whoops. Where this could live. And I made the, I built a pocket with both Julie and Kara's ephemera. And also over here, I did the same thing. And then I used um, a piece of the other half from the page that was in the little booklet of postcards to create a hidden, hidden journaling card with some uh, index card that was coffee dyed. And I learned how to make these first by watching Kara. Brandon Creations and then also Dear Julie Julie did it and it was so fun. On um, this page 
I use the napkins. Well, first, the inside of the, the back side of the scrapbook paper was white, so I stamped and I did a little bit of um, distressing, and then I took a napkin and I pasted it there. Then I built the picket pockets on top of it. And then finally on the back, I used one of Kara's pockets, one of Julie's pieces of ephemera to make a tag. And it is embellished with a, one of Kara's pieces of ephemera and it somehow or another got bent. And then um, I used a flap from scraps from day two and a ticket and some of both Kara and Julie's ephemera to create a flap for more journaling. And I did a little distressing. I'm not sure um, if I'm gonna add anything in here or just leave it for extra journaling space. So that is my ensemble for day five. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you do leave a like for my video. It really helps and leave a comment. Um, the more comments that I get and the more views and the more likes and subscribes, it'll start building my channel. I have, my channel is very small right now, but every little bit helps. So even if you just say hi, um, that would be wonderful. And in my next video, I will make sure to thank you for that. So I will see you next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.